Hey you guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about um, Earth 11 Team Justice. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because they introduced a male Raven. Now, of course, you guys know that Earth 11 is literally the gender bent swap Earth of the DC multiverse that was created by Grant um, Morrison. But the reason why I'm the reason why I'm talking about it is because they decided to make a big deal about Raven being a male. Now, why would they make a big deal about Raven being a male? Right? Because they already made a big deal about non-binary gender fluid flash that nobody asked for, nobody wanted. Um, and I really wish the character never existed, to be honest. But let's go back to the the the, the fact that remember the non-binary um gender fluid BS flash is going to um migrate to the main continuity, apparently. Now, if she's going to migrate to the main continuity. Do you think that the Raven character, the one that they're making a big deal about, that they're center, they're making a center focus on for this miniseries, I believe what's going to happen is they're going to bring this Raven into the main continuity. And the reason why I'm saying that is because why make a big deal about this character being male and being a gender swapped version of Raven if you weren't going to do anything big with this character? What's going to happen is male raven and non-binary um bs flash are going to make a big splash in a dc universe um maybe they're going to be very important to um the dark crisis um i don't know i don't know what the dark crisis have evolved but i think what's going to happen is they're going to bring these two characters in um they're going to like um, Raven's going to use um, his magical portal powers and bring them in and what's going to happen is they're not going to be able to get back to Earth 11 and I believe what's going to happen is they're probably going to do like a spinoff thing where Raven is going to be called Raven and Raven <laughs> um, and the reason why I'm saying that is probably because um, gender the gender swap Earth 11 Raven is stuck on Earth but need a spell to try to return back to that Earth but not, it's not powerful enough. So he goes to the one person that he can that he can kind of trust, which is Raven, our Raven, the female original um, Teen Titan member. And what's going to happen is um, what's going to happen is he's probably going to discover um, while he's while he's with Raven, he's probably going to discover that he's LGBT because, you know, these characters got to be LGBT. Um, so he's probably going to start falling in love with our Earth's Beast Boy, even though our Earth's Beast Boy is with Raven right now. He's still a Raven. You get what I'm saying? So that's going to be like an important issue or important topic, because we not only do we have to remember that this character's LGBT, he is also a raven character as well and that's what i'm thinking that they're doing because there's there's ain't no way that they're going to be pushing team justice and their vocal their focus is on non-binary flash and male raven and it's kind of weird don't you think it's weird like hey we're going to focus on these two characters and we're going to make a big deal about them if they weren't going to be part of dc i'm surprised the male raven wasn't part of future state you know um that way they can be part of the diversity justice league and they might and the uh, male raven just might actually be part of the um diverse um justice league because what what else could you possibly done you know what i mean <laughs> and what's probably gonna happen is um, now that there's two portals on Earth um, on the main continuity, it's probably going to make Trigon easily be able to manipulate Raven and both Ravens. It, it, like, it doesn't really matter what Earth they're from. They're, um, they're still spawns of Trigon. And um, what's going to probably happen is both the Trigon, so there's going to be a female version of Trigon and they're going to be a male version of Trigon, the original Trigon. And they're probably going to team up to use their their children to create, like, a portal a portal a hell on earth kind of little thing just kind of like i'm telling you it's going to probably tie into like whatever new teen titan storyline that they're going to make they're probably going to make a new teen titan storyline anyway but that's what i'm going for because i'm looking at it and i'm like now why in the world are they making a big deal about it and the reason why they're making a big deal about it is because they're plan they're planning on bringing the Earth Eleven Raven. I'm, this is just my prediction. I'm not saying that it's really going to happen, but that has to be the reason. There ain't no other reason why you know they making a big deal about it because they 
they um didn't really make a big deal about when Donna when Donald Troy um joined the team and that was supposed to be a milestone for the care for the team anyway and they didn't do they didn't do that so if they're not going to do that with um Donald Troy or the um well it was another it was another character I believe I forgot what the other character was besides the non-binary flash if they're not going to make a big deal about that why did they make a big deal about this raven and why are they making a story arc around this raven of uh, the male the um gender swap uh, male character like uh, of course it's earth 11 most people aren't going to really be reading them but what i'm saying is what's going to happen is they're going to take this raven along with the non-binary flash nobody asked for and they're going to push them into the main continuity and try to make some uh make them some characters because they're probably going to be like oh well we need more male magician characters um and i think what's going to happen is they're going to try to make the male raven like um marvel's wiccan if you guys um know about wiccan you know wiccan is an openly lgbt um guy who's married to um who's married to teddy who um is hulkling right now and who's the emperor of the the creed and scrolls and stuff like that because he's a prince to both of them it, it it's weird it's weird but i think that's probably what they're gonna do and i wouldn't be surprised if after this arc or whatever he migrates over to the earth um 11 he falls in love with um with beast boy realizing that he's gay or, or whatever because you know he has to be and um beast boy is going to turn him down but he's going to probably fall in love with like um zachary zantar who is the cousin of zantana who also can do magic because you know we haven't seen him and they're probably going to be like oh well you know hey let's make him lgbt and then of course people are going to be like well you didn't realize the character wasn't lgbt and they're going to be like who cares you guys are homophobes and racist and all that bull crap and they're going to probably have a they're going to probably be in a relationship or um they're going to probably have like some kind of demonic male character that they're going to introduce and that raven will be in love with that person because they're going to be like a avert they're going to probably be like some kind of demonic version of beast boy if that makes sense <laughs> because you know again we have to make the characters lgbt i'm not saying that i'm not saying that they are going to be lgbt i don't think the character is but i they, these are just predictions i'm saying because i know how dc work at this point and they're so obvious when they do this nonsense that you just be like okay sure i'm to be honest i'm surprised they didn't try to dress him up in a skimpy outfit besides a hoodie and and some jeans and, and i'm like that's it <laughs> that's all we get I, i'm like i'm really surprised he's not he's not wearing any like tight clothes that show off his figure and having a, a cape or something like that you know what i mean <laughs> so who knows i mean i'm just saying i'm just spitballing here i'm not really tr i'm not saying that it's really going to happen but there has to be a reason why they're focusing so heavenly on this male raven if they're not going to do more with the character I'm, i bet you we're going to see a lot more of this raven eventually not that i'm not saying that i'm not saying i mean i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing because we don't really know anything about this raven yet so i can't really make this judgment calls or decisions i just find it very strange <laughs> so that's why i'm that's why i made this theory about it and we do, i mean it could lead into another raven solo run um remember raven had a solo run too uh what was it what was it called uh that reminds me I, what was the raven what was the raven um raven solo run called um i'm a i'm a i'm upset that i don't remember <laughs> raven solo run oh yeah um the daughter of darkness that's what it was that what that's what it was raven daughter of darkness that a lot of people didn't read um and i remember i was talking to one person and it was like but I liked it, and I said, I'm not saying that the book was bad or anything, but a lot of people didn't care. Why would Why would you care? You know, um, I I mean, there's nothing really all that interesting about Raven going to high school, learning more about her human side. Okay, but you have to remember, a lot of people who are familiar with Raven already know know about that kind of stuff. So you're making a solo run where she's rediscovering shit that she already that she already had learned when she was in the teen titans um you know post post crisis before new 52 
So it's kind of pointless and a lot of people probably didn't care for it. And then I know the book was probably delayed or whatever. And I believe they're probably going to do another solo run with Raven so they can have this other Raven here. I'm, You know, why not? People like Raven. So let's go for it. I'm just spitballing these ideas. I'm not saying that this is really going to happen. Um, do I really care about the male Raven? No, not really. But I, I'm just saying, I think that that's what they're doing because everybody was like react, um, reacting to it. And I'm just like, oh, okay. I should have known that that was going to happen because it is earth 11, but I believe there's way more to it than DC's letting on. Maybe this, this is a theory, a comic book theory, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.